internet, Jesse here, Ish Guitars with Jay Lock, coming at you with a highly anticipated video of the three probably most important multi-scale basses in the world right now. The modern bass world right now. Exactly. Uh, the Spectre Dimension 5 string, the Ibanez EHB, stands for Electric Headless Bass, go figure, and the heavyweight champion, the Dingwall Combustion, or mm -hmm. NG3 or something like that would also substitute in there as well. So the way this is going to work is we're going to play them all for you. You get to hear how they sound. And then we have these uh, fun-ish yes. stickers, which we will award one sticker per base for several different categories. And the base with the most stickers at the end wins. Nice little showdown. We'll see what the best base is. Stick around. Here we go. I'm going to play these three bases for you. They're going to be set all flat on the EQ. We're not going to do a deep dive into every pickup setting because we already have videos for all of these bases separately that go into all that. So check the links below in the description for those. Uh, we're going to hit a slap and a finger style back to back for all three. Um, and let's do it. Welcome back. So, which one do you think was your favorite sounding? Comment below. We'd love to hear it. Great time to do so before we get into all the craziness. Give it a pause and do that. So, first order of business. This is going to be our first sticker to award. Mm, I'm so excited. We're going to battle it out here. Okay, first we're talking about scale length and neck profile. So, uh, the Dingwall, which mm -hmm. really set the precedence of uh, fan fret basses is a 37 inch on the low string, on the B string, and a 34 inch on the G. That's what people really want. Um, yeah. Spectre just blew up the world with the dimension a couple weeks ago using that same scale length. Most other multi-scale basses that have come out have had different shorter scale lengths that people just don't want. They want those long right. scale lengths. So yeah. a huge win for these guys. Um, the Ibanez is a 35 inch scale on the B string and a 33 inch scale on the G string. Um, so it's a little bit shorter. Honestly, as a bassist, I think it might be more useful for some of those people who don't play gent stuff and don't play super heavy stuff. It's a little bit more mild. Yeah. And I still feel like it gives me the benefit of the different string tensions and things like that. So right. I really don't hate that, although I know a lot of people do. I, mean, I don't think it's as big of a negative as people think it is, though. No, it's, it depends on what you want to play that's comfortable. And some people love the longer scale length. That just feels right. You it, know? And that one's a little shorter. They, the longer ones do crush it on the low yeah, B, the low tuning. If you're exactly. a low tuning dude and you're going to even lower than B. Yeah, if you're doing that, you, you need you, to go You lower. have to, right? Yeah. But if you're like a kind of a normal bassist, then honestly, the Ibanez probably work great. Mm -hmm. Which one did you like best, just neck feel playing wise? With the neck feel included, um, I was torn. Uh, I did like the shorter scale on the Ibanez, but the neck was a little too thin, so I have you to go. You thought this was too thin with the Dingwall. Interesting. You know, I'm. Oh, this is a tough oh, one. I won't stay. Now the Ibanez also has stainless steel frets, which it's is true. awesome. Um, the Dingwall has a little bit smaller frets than normal. 
which is I really like actually. Mm -hmm. The Spectre has those those jumbo frets, which a lot of people on the internet like. Um, let me think. It's hard. This one's a, you know. This one's I, I, I do have to say this has a gloss finish on the neck. If you get the gloss, of course, they have the, the matte finish of this base also too. I was surprised. I thought that the Ivan has actually had a little bit thicker neck than I was expecting. Yeah. I actually vibed the best. Drum roll. Oh, it's a Dingwall double. It's going to be Dingwall. Oh. OK. All right. We're being honest here, guys. This is what we like. And it's, it's a tough choice. I, I, I really I love the Spectre, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go Dingwall. OK, next is pickups. This is an even harder decision. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got the Fishman Fluence entire system in the Dingwalls, which is arguably freaking It's kind of hard to epic. argue with. Um, in the Ibanez, though, we have Nordstrand big splits that are a custom wine for Ibanez. Um, I've heard rumors, and I've not confirmed this, that they're actually um, Overseas, basically versions of so the North like, Strands. They, so they're not. Them for yeah, that so they're not belt. like technically like they are spec, but I think it's to make them less expensive. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know that, so don't quote me. Um, and then has a Ibanez proprietary control system, which is awesome though. There's a mid sweep in here. Yep. That is the best, best yep. control on base ever. Yep. You were playing with that earlier. Yeah, I love it. Um, the Dingwall has an EMG preamp in the combustions in the. Uh, NG bases, yep. it has a uh, dark glass, which is great. I love some of the notch the contour kind of voicings they have in that one. I too. don't like the rot rotary really? selector. No? So the Dingwall has a rotary selector on it. The problem is that to me, it's the same thing with the old PRSs. You don't know which setting you're on. That, if they had a little notch or just a mark. I, I think it be... should just be a five way switch, well, like a strap. Yeah, you could do that. We already have the switches. But it looks so nice. Look at that. Yeah, but like, why are basses so weird about having not having five-way switches? And guitarists are know. like, hell yeah, give me these switchy Anything, switches. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, Pickup-wise, though, the uh, Dingwall crushes it. They are Dingwall-designed pickups. We were talking about this a little bit earlier. The super fats. Neodymium, super mag fat. neodymium ne magnets in them. Neodymium. 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 Magnets in them that sound uh, uh, really great. They're Sheldon Dingwall's all own design, and this is like a, he's gone through iterations and iterations of pickups, and they sound really good. Those are great pickups. Yeah. Um, and you can choose between having two or three of them, which is super cool. We'll get to that a little bit more mm -hmm. later. Um, so. You oof. get to go first this time. Oh, so God. I'm going to. And you're including the I'm variations in options of controls and all that. I'm a huge fan of Sheldon Dingwall's pickups, um, but I'm gonna give it some negatives because that selector. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the Spectre with the Fishmans. The Fishmans are really freaking good. That one does have that full range that just sounds. I I will say that these sound to me a little bit less natural than either of these two bases. Yeah, these I sound a little saying. bit digitally, but they just sound. Great. Yeah. I'm going to go with that guy. I'll be honest. I was real torn. I love. You like that. I've been I asked. love the Dingwall. Just because it's the biggest sound ever, I feel like, on bass. They're super fat sounding. Fat and warm. But I think the mid-sweep is the are sick. winning control with oh, those pickups. amazing. That you can do anything. Like, you can get every sound you'd ever want. It's amazing. Just by adjusting it. So I'm going to go. On the old hey, Ibanez here. Ibanez We're in the game, Ibanez. First one. We're in the game. Woo. Oh, I love it. All right. So um, next we've got hardware. And they're all quite... Th okay, this is going to go a little more different. Okay, so the Spectre, we've got these hip shot A-style um, individual saddles. Hip shot which is style. Cool. I don't know the if same. they're hip shots or not. We couldn't confirm that yet. Yeah. We'll reach out to Spectre. We can post it in the description below once we figure it out. But we weren't able to figure it out yet yep. if these were actually built by hip shot or not. The Spectre also has tuners. We talked about this in our other Spectre video mm -hmm. um, that are good. They work good, but they're not anything cool branding. They're just not like very a, aesthetically pleasing. They're right. just like a Korean tuner that they work fine, but yep. they're not anything great. Um, the 
Ibanez has all of their own hardware. Mm -hmm. They're really good at making their own hardware at this point and their own proprietary stuff. They're really, honestly, beautifully finished. Absolutely yeah, gorgeous. They, they, they don't great. have any tuners on the top, of course. That's every, everything's right in here. But they do a great job. Um, 3D adjustable, like so much adjustment. Great, great job. And the, the end pin things at the top um, are all very well, beautifully machined as well. Um, really, Ibanez knocks really it out of the park. High marks. Yeah. Very high marks. Surprisingly high yeah. marks. Um, on the Dingwall, uh, we have Dingwall designed individual saddles on the bottom. They are built in China. Um, they're very good. Again, Sheldon Dingwall designed, really, really great. He's such an incredible engineer. Um, truly, I think that Stuart Spector was probably one of the fathers of boutique bases or the father of boutique mm -hmm. bases. I think Sheldon really took it and ran, and I'm a huge fan of his designs right. and his engineering. Um, but my only issue with those tuner uh, with that bridge is that it's a little bit just the finishing quality of it is yeah, a little bit get, less. Get they're, some little scratches they're definitely sometimes. Chinese made. Yeah, and just whatever yep. plating they use is kind of like eh. Um, does have hip shot tuners on that base that are super nice. Yeah, those, the open gear hip shots. Those are beautiful. That are beautiful. Love hip shot stuff. Huge shout out to those guys. They're our neighbors only about an hour away from here. Amazing guys. Great family that runs that factory. Um, so this is your turn. Which one are you going to pick for hardware? Oh, we do, just as an added note, the Ibanez does have a locking jack. Great call. If, if you want it, some people love them, some people hate them. We were in the shop discussing our love and hate of them. Um, I kind of love it, but I also so, kind of hate it. As long as you know not to rip your amp off or something, but <laughs> it's not going to come out. So right. this is a hard one. Um, I think I have to do the Dingwall. Just, and there's little things, like the small stuff, like the Ibanez, everything feels fine, but like the knobs just are a little cheaper and plasticier. Like, you know. I'll give you that. These, the tuners on this, bri uh. on this bridge are incredible. So like, this is kind of more of a picky aesthetic thing. Um, I think I have to do the Dingwall. You can do whatever you I want. Know, You're your own man. I'm actually gonna go, and I'm really surprised to say this, I'm actually going to go with the Ibanez. Ooh. Because you know what? I think that I think that the Spectre is solid. I just don't know if it really brings it in it the hardware category. It doesn't feel like it's super glued all it the doesn't time. doesn't bring it. Yep. Um, and the, 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 I get some just like fiddly feel issues on the Dingwall where I'm like, yeah, it could be a little better. This is a really nicely hardware base. I agree, though, on those knobs. It but just change them up. Anyway. Give me, those ner give me the, what are they called? Burled, um, knurled? What is that? Very yeah. high quality stuff, though, overall. Okay, next. Um, overall construction and quality. So obviously, a lot of arguments that can be made here. The Ibanez is made in Indonesia. The Spectre is made in Korea. And the Dingwall is made in China, which yep. is going to get very important um, in our next topic. Um, as a guitar shop, we see a lot of, actually, Jay, actually, you should be the one that talks about this. He's the one that inspects everything that goes out and really in. Yep. Um, so, and that's to the tune of a couple thousand guitars a year. Yeah. So, construction and quality, what do you think? So, with this one, it's kind of weird. It, I'm going to try to be unbiased in the sense that <laughs> when I do that, like when I pull it out of the box, I basically want to, does it feel right? I'm not trying to think too much on tuners, everything. Does it feel like it plays? Does it tune up? Um, with all these right here, I'm going the Ibanez. As really? Far as, yep. As far as right out of the box. Out of the box. Turn it on, plug it in. I'm a heavy disagree there. That's, that's I'm a heavy disagree. I say Dingwall all day. Their QC is stupid so, good. That, and that's, that's the thing. Stupid good. So, yes, that, it's kind of hard because they never slip it up when it comes in. Consistency. And, and at almost to a point, I guess some of it, I'm almost so used to them being so consistent that I'm like, well, it's another Dingwall. We I have don't to really do have almost, to worry about it at all. Dingwall and PRS have, I think, the most consistent quality. Um, and I think Dingwall even takes over PRS. Yeah. They are really tight with their For quality their control, I'll say yes in QC. for that. But in out-of-the-box playability, you say Ibanez. The last three that came in, I'm going to have to lean in, which I'm surprised about, actually. That's a, um, man, the Ibanez is a contender right now. Now, the only other thing here is uh, you, you might have to take that one out because we're also going to talk about uh, in this one is body construction. Heck, you know what? Screw it. Let's make another point. Next one we're going to talk about is body construction. We have more stickers. So 
you probably already know, there's the thicknesses of woods, there's, yep. you know, neck through versus bolt on, there's contours how many plies are in the all neck, all contours and all that stuff. This is a great idea, this should be separate. So, I, I'm gonna go straight away and go straight to the specter. Cause I, I, it's, to me, it's not even a contest. The specter, go over this, this darn thing, ah, okay, whatever. The specter <laughs> has a big thick top on it, really thick like this, just like their USA bases does. Mm -hmm. It has a walnut slice in the center of that. It has an ash back. It's neck through, which neither of these other guys are. And uh, it has a five piece neck as well. So, I mean, you're talking like, as far as construction quality con is concerned, it's epic. A Wenge yep. fretboard and all that. Yep. This base, body construction, crazy good. That was There's probably no the most veneers. comfortable. This is, this contour. is, and also too, this is the proper Spectre contour body. So it looks like this. So when it sits on your, yeah. on your belly and on your body, it just feels yep. great. This base is like a USA Spectre in a couple thousand dollar package. Very impressive yeah, for the, the money. And that's probably why, that's probably why the hardware on it doesn't wow us and some things like that, right? It's because they spent all the money on the body construction, which to me, that's what you want. Exactly. That's what I, you I, pay I can for. change hardware, I can screw with whatever, but you can't do anything about it. Has the neck the actual... through and all that. On exactly. That one. And that, that neck is, is really stable. It's awesome. All right, all right, all right. I think you're, you're I'm not going to say, I'm not taking it down from the, the Ivan The Ivan is, well, you get to put another one up. Well, you didn't pick your. Oh, geez. Okay, QC. QC goes Dingwall. This is our first time, guys, with this new game. QC goes Dingwall. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. QC goes Dingwall, and my body construction goes Spectre. Um, so where would you put body... Oh, uh, also, so the, the Ibanez is a veneer top. It's a bolt-on. It does have an awesome neck. Uh, it has a, a bunch of plies Wenge neck on there mm -hmm. um, that is phenomenal. The Dingwall has a one-piece uh, maple neck on it, also bolt-on. Um, good quality neck, but it definitely doesn't have any of the fancy things that these other ones do. The Dingwall also on its body is a uh, veneer for the top. Um, so it doesn't really score any extra points there. Um, what do you think, Jay? Go with the Spectre, I think. You're going to Spectre also? Comfortable. The body, oh, shit. The body She's back is great. in the game. The body on that one is the most comfortable, in my opinion. Ooh, one last thing about this Ibanez, too, that's super weird. The back of it has this like curve that's like this. Like on the Spectre, it goes like this, right? It's a, this nice curve. Mm -hmm. On the Ibanez, it goes like this. Why? Yeah, I don't know. It's really weird. It's, I just don't, I don't really understand. Um, uh, that's why I'm definitely not picking that yep. one. Um, okay, and we have price. So this is where a lot of this all comes together. And you, this is where you guys are the deciding factor because no, we're, want, the, no you, we're the design factors. So we they, got the stickers. For them, they're the ones we're going to figure this out. <laughs> they <laughs> buy it, decide for They you. spend their money, though. <laughs> <laughs> so so um, pricing-wise, um, the Ibanez is sixteen ninety nine. Yep. Which is a great price. Um, the Spectre is twenty ninety nine, um, And the Dingwall gets a little bit funny because you can get it in a two-pickup version. Um, which is 1915. You can also get in the three pickup version, which is what we, we have, have. Yep. Um, which is 2185. But then also too, you can only get natural for 2185. If you want any other color, upcharge. It's actually 200 bucks. So this base, as it sits here, is actually 2385. Most people are probably going to get a three pickup with a color on it. So yeah. we're going to call it 2385. But you could do that differently. Also too, what's really cool about Dingwall is that third pickup route is always in that base body. So if you ever bought the two pickup and wanted to upgrade to the three pickup. You have that option. You do have that option. You could get a lot less expensive base. So that's something to think about when we're grading these bases. Right. Um, so. Value for the money. We're, uh, you can do this however you want. I'm going to do this as do I, do, would I buy it for that much, basically? Yeah, right. yeah, is it worth what the cost is? Right, but you can think of this price, uh, a price win as value. You can also think of a price win as like, you can't get 
uh, these yeah. features for this money. So there's right. a couple of different ways to look at it. How are you going to look at it? I love not spending a lot of money. Yeah, we know. We that's know one that. Of our favorite. <laughs> oh, I should say I love getting quality stuff that's not extreme you amounts like of money. You like stuff cheap. Um, I'm good at it. Um, I think, honestly, for the everything together, I'm going with the Spectre. For the pickups, the Ooh. voicings, the body feels good. At twenty ninety nine. Cheap tuners that work, I don't care about. Like, aesthetically, the Dingwalls are the fancy boy tuners, and that's awesome, but I don't really care as long as they work for me. Um, I think that's, that is for the price point. I mean, obviously, the Ibanez is cheaper, um, but those pickups, the full range on that, even though I did tout how the controls on there have so much mid-range, the sweep and all that's cool, but at the end of the day, I think that the Spectre kind of grabs it. That's very interesting, Jay. Very interesting. It, it's difficult because the Ibanez is the cheapest by quite a bit, by $500. And, and that's my instinct would just be, oh, it's, it sounds great. It plays great. Also, like, it's headless, though, too, which I feel I'm like. I'm not as big a fan of the headless. Not everyone's going to vibe with that. So. But, man, 500 bucks gets you, like, a whole other, you know, yeah. bass or amp yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or whatever. But this, the Dingwalls, unfortunately, so the Dingwalls got quite a bit more expensive in the last two years. The reason why is because of the Chinese tariffs from the Trump administration. So there's a huge tariff on those bases. Even though the, the company is Canadian, right. since those are from China, that's why- There's all, an upcharge. Yeah, you, you'd think it would be better. So like their prices went way up. So like, unfortunately- But they do quality control amazingly It's good, well. but I can't, I can't give the Dingwall a sticker. I can't. And I want to give the Spectre a sticker, but $500, I'm also a cheapo. You could buy an amp with that, so. Like, an Ibanez is, the hardware's, I'm going for the Ibanez. The Ibanez. I'm going for the Ibanez. Look at that, you even got it to stay up this time. I think we have a problem. They all have four. <laughs> it's okay. They all have four. We have one remaining. We have one remaining sticker, and this one, is for weight and balance. Yep. And this one I thought was an interesting way to end because who cares about any of this stuff if it's, if it's brutally heavy 25 pounds. or it has a massive amount right. of neck dive. And we get right. this question all the time about neck dive on multi-scales because they are pretty long. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to throw a strap on these suckers really quick. So they were all four. I'm going to feed them up to you. We'll, we'll take the, They're the, probably all gonna the stickers off. off. Exactly. Just, just for our sanity. And we're going to see which one. We know the weights of them already. We're going to see which one mm -hmm. kind of balances great. And sometimes um, weight depends on, like you said, how it balances. Just light isn't right? necessarily the best thing. Exactly. Or just heavy isn't necessarily the exactly. worst thing. Um, the Ibanez is 7.2 pounds. They save a lot of weight because there's no headstock, and also it's not as long of a scale yep. length. Um, the Dingwall is 8.4 pounds. Um, so pretty pretty average weight yep. for a, yeah, for for a, a base. base, like yep, average, nothing. medium, light even, I would yeah. say. Um, the Spectre is the heaviest one for sure. Ash body, which can be heavy or light, um, and all that neck through stuff adds up. It's 9.3 pounds. Again, isn't terrible, but it's definitely weighty compared to 7.2. Um, also, remember, obviously, these can all change in weight. You can get a heavy piece of right. ash or a light piece of ash or a heavy piece of mahogany or a light piece of mahogany. Yep. It all depends. Um, but this is what we have. So I'm going to put the strap on, and we're going to find out. We're going to put this strap on. <laughs> Uh, okay, so here's the base. Look at it. You got it on. How's it feel? It's good. Not super heavy. So it's it's the heaviest, but you still aren't really. No, it's not like it. it feels it's, like it's digging in my shoulder. It's comfy overall. Yeah. Okay. Um, so why don't you let go of it and let's see how it dives? Ooh, that's like 25% dive. It's a little, little bit. A little right? bit. Right. But like we didn't touch the ground either. It didn't smack me in the it's face. It's not like it's going past horizontal. All right, let's hit the Ibanez next. Cool. All right. You, you, know, you know what's funny? You know you were talking shit on the contour like this? Yeah. It's way better when you stand up. Interesting. Because it's actually like, you know when you see those, those big dudes who play guitar and they're... Kind of puts just, it out like that? Yeah. Yeah, but the problem is with the Spectre, then you get that curve so it would actually adhere to you instead of being up on that, on your belly, you know, if you're like a bigger It does have guy. a little... I'm, look, look, looks like, a little I don't weird. Have... <laughs> looks a little weird. Um, but how does it feel? Are you, I mean, you just took your hands off. It's it. cool. There's no, there's, no, there's no dive at all because there's no headstock. It doesn't move at all. It's small. That's cool. Yeah, it's like attached to you at the hip. Yeah. 
Feels comfy, super light. Yeah. Any other thoughts? No. This thing, I mean, this thing, if you're playing. You got a nice arm contour on there. If you're playing there, long gigs, this thing is going to. Get, get your hands up on there like you're playing it. It does lift a little bit if you're, like, resting. That's and interesting. You could put, if you played up higher, it may be different, but I think yeah, that's Yeah, but nobody plays that. up there except for nerds. Yeah, you. I'm a nerd. We're nerds. We play like yeah, we're all play like um, that. <laughs> no, it feels good. I mean, it, if I was playing a three-hour gig, I would like this because my shoulder will be happy. It's not going to be, like, anything crazy over a long time. But All right, let's hit the ding wall. And the ding wall cool. is middle of the road with them. I feel like it's just kind of straight. It's like a normal bass. Yeah, there's nothing. To, this is kind of just straight out of the box. So you take your hand off. There's no deck, neck dive at all, right? The slightest. A little, little bit, like 10%. Yeah, it's negligible. Maybe. That's like nothing. It sits on your body like a normal bass. Yep. I think the Spectre is probably the most comfortable as far as standing up. But so, so you're going to give the Spectre I think the, the Spectre points, for even the, with a little bit of neck dive. Even with the neck dive, you kind of, if you get a, I mean, this is like a pretty thin strap. You know, most of the stuff that I use generally is like a fatter strap, and it doesn't, it holds it, I guess. Mm -hmm. And that can be like, you know, we were saying like, if you have a shirt like yours where it's a little more slippery, that can actually change a little bit. Um, so even with the neck dive, it's a base. Sometimes it happens. I'm not like. I don't think it's, as long as that thing doesn't touch the floor. As long as it, like, go back, if it doesn't good. start going like this. I agree. I think the if 90 degree angle, and that's I'm what's happy. interesting is the Spectre stopped right there. Yeah. All right, well, this is going to be a tough decision. So, what's your decision, Jesse? We already know yours. I know. The Spectre wins. Outside of the neck dive, the body feels great. I don't have like that lifted like front of the body that gets a little strange. But this is a very last cast of my sticker. Your ish guitar. The sticker. reason why is that I know I can do whatever I want here. <laughs> no matter which bass it is. So here's the thing. I think we know which one's balanced best. But you know what? I was going to vote for the Ibanez for best balance because it is the best. But I'm going to vote for the Dingwall because you know what? At the end of the day, it didn't dive. I don't really want the Ibanez. I really want the Dingwall. And so you know what? There you go. I'm voting for the Dingwall. That's how we and do it. And it balances normal, like a normal bass. I don't know. That's not a bad thing. There you go. Yeah. So... They're all really close, guys. I think we have a problem. <laughs> um, we need to revamp our game here a little bit. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So we have one last test. We have to do one more. The real balance We discussed test. this earlier. I honestly didn't think that we are going to have to do this. This is a legitimate... It's a tiebreaker. Yeah. This isn't planned, I, I swear. <laughs> Get it, get it. Okay. So this is a slight the athletic. Winner, the winner take all. Is going to be. <laughs> don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> don't, definitely don't try this with Wait, dad you take or, this mom, one, you dad like or this. mom's base. Who can outbalance... <laughs> the other person. Without breaking it. Ready? All right, Tom, we need a, we need a countdown. Three, two, one, go. You're better at this than I thought. You're a good adversary, watch this. Ready? Jay. Ready? Watch this. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think that's a win on my part. You win. That's the it. Wall wins. The ding wall wins. The ding wall wins. The ding wall's the winner. Based on our balance test alone. Yes. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Um, three of the best bases in this category, in this price point, all put head to head. And it all came down to a balance test to figure it out. Like, comment, subscribe, share this to all your friends. Any other questions, hit us up, and we'll mm -hmm. talk to you soon. Oh, and we sell all these. We do. Dealer, we dealer, sell. dealer. We sell guitars Buy them from us because we like to, you know, make money and stuff. Okay, bye.